Aloha everybody, Michael here. Today I'm going to talk about the psychology of science. It's part of my new book that I'm writing called The Psychology of Religion. Chapter 1 is Psychology 101. So, psychology is the study of human behavior. Science is Latin for scientia, which is knowledge. So all sciences basically study knowledge. <laughs> so we can become more knowledgeable about anything that we study. So really, physics, astronomy, chemistry, biology, psychology, these are all sciences that focus on specific branches of our reality. So, all things have one thing in common. Everything is in motion. So, when you study physics, you're studying the motion of physical things. Everything in our physical reality is moving. Astronomy is the study of celestial bodies, how they are formed, how they move. Chemistry is the study of chemical reactions, which are molecules and elements that are communicating with one another and moving. So it's really, really interesting. In relation to religion, what we can do is understand that religion is the study of how people experience spiritual occurrences. Yes, religion has been used to control our thoughts and manipulate us to do what certain people want us to do, but the religious writings have valuable information that is understood from a point of view in which you accept that there is possibly useful information within those writings. So, for example, in the Bible, the book of Genesis, there is a description of our creation and the creation of the universe. And a lot of people get hung up on this, oh, well, you know, seven days is not accurate, and therefore, this description must not be true or real. Well, understand that when that part of the Bible was written, humanity's understanding of science was much different than it is today. So, if we look at the current explanations of our physical reality, let's say in terms of quantum mechanics, we've come almost full circle to where what was believable before is becoming almost unbelievable now. So the truth is much stranger than fiction. And the, the Bible, uh, as well as other religious texts have very interesting descriptions about scientific phenomenon that occurred to somebody. So we could say supernatural occurrences happened and people wrote about them. So 
instead of saying, oh, well, that could not have happened and is only science fiction, then we're basically turning off our ability to receive that information as being potentially valuable or useful. So it really becomes uh, up to us to predetermine what it is that we're going to allow to be received as useful data. So if, if we are open-minded and we go into a session of learning where we are able to allow for the information to be received, at least with the premise that it is possibly how it happened, then we're going to allow for that information to come in and then we can process it and make sense of it so that we will then know about at least one human being's perception of reality as being truthful. And then we will have one more piece of the cosmic mirror that is, is a puzzle and we're putting it back together. So I like to use my imagination and be ready and willing to believe that anything is possible. If you say, well, that might be true, or I believe that anything is possible but X, Y, and Z, then you're already placing a limit on what it is that you can know. We can know anything that we wish. There's no limits to what we can know. We can know everything. We can know nothing. We can know something. I can tell you right now, I know one thing for absolute certainty. And that's how I currently feel. Right now I feel very peaceful. I know how it feels to be peaceful because I've experienced it before. It's sometimes indescribable in words, but that doesn't mean I don't know how it feels. And because I know how it feels and I recognize the feeling, I can recall and remember the processes and ways that I reach that level of awareness. So it's all about perception. And when we better understand one another by listening and feeling the truth, then we can better understand ourselves. Temet Noski, know thyself. When you know yourself and you stop doubting what is possible and you realize that anything is possible, guess what? You can create anything you wish. You can perceive your reality however you wish. And this is the blessing. Free will. All right. Namaste.